This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. In this video, we are going to see how to create custom JavaScript variables in Google Tag Manager. So what are we going to cover? We are going to cover the basics of creating a custom JavaScript variable in Google Tag Manager. We are going to see how we can call the already created variables in a custom JavaScript variable. And then we are going to see an example use case for Google Analytics 4. Okay, let's start then. Before moving further, I would like to invite you to join our free group on Facebook dedicated to digital analytics. Here we geek on various topics related to digital analytics uh, like uh, tag management, conversion rate optimization, data visualization in various tags like Adobe Experience Cloud or Google Marketing Platform. So looking forward to meet you here. So we are now in the Google Tag Manager's interface. To access the creation of the variables, you need to click on variables, right? And then for custom variables, you need to click on new. And here in variable configuration, you need to select the custom JavaScript variable. Now the fundamentals, right? For all custom JavaScript variables, the thing that is mandatory is that it needs to be a function, right? So always start with this and then it needs to return something, right? For now, just keep it X. So now whatever you do would be the definition of X. And finally, you need to return X. Okay. So this is the basic that First, it needs to be a function and second, it needs to return something, right? So now let's see how we can call the other variables that we have already created in a custom JS variable. Okay. So for now, just discard this variable. Okay. We are creating a new variable from scratch and this variable we are going to use from the URL. Just give me an example. Okay. Now the component that we are going to use is query. Right. And here we need to put the query parameter from which we want to put uh, pull in certain values. The thing I'm going to do over here is uh, UTM underscore source. Right. So what it's going to do essentially, it is going to pull the value of UTM source and pass that uh, into the variable that we are going to create over here. So we can call this as a custom UTM underscore source right now this is the variable that we have created okay so if you want to bring that variable into a custom js variable so what we can do is uh, the basics again function and return something okay and then what we can do is let's say that var source is equal to curly braces and this will open up all the variables that are already existing and then we can choose the variable that we have just created right so what was the name of our variable it was custom utm source so here right so now we are calling this custom utm source variable in our code okay so this is how we can get the variables that have been already created in our custom js variable so let me know if you have any questions on this one Now, before uh, looking at the Google Analytics 4, I want to briefly touch upon the concept of local storage. OK, so if you go to any website, right, and uh, let's say that you want to persist value of a variable or a data point from uh, for different pages. So let's say if you capture a value on the home page and then you navigate to uh, uh, blog. OK, just giving an example. So the value that was there on the home page should be available on this page as well so that you can take that value across different pages of the website and stitch that data with a common value, which is uh, an attribute of the user or the audience. OK, so for example, it can be uh, some marketing information, right, which is not by default getting available for you. And then you want to uh, use that information across the different pages to associate a certain user action with that particular marketing data point. Right. So uh, what we can do over here, the code for that is uh, window, right, dot uh, local storage and then set item. Right. And uh, what you can do is you first need to specify the name of the variable that you are storing in the local storage and then you can pass a value to that. Now the value that you are passing can be dynamically passed using a JavaScript code or it can be a static value. Uh, for this illustration right now what we are doing I will just use a static value. Okay, so uh, let's say that I create a variable called wife. Okay, so the name of the variable is wife and then the value that I'm passing over here is amazing. Okay, now uh, when you go to applications, 
and then look at local storage then you will see that this new variable called wife has been created as under the key and the value is amazing okay so if now i uh, refresh this page even though i have refreshed the page the value of uh, the variable is still persisting so i can use that value from a previous call okay now i will go back again to blogs right now here also you can see that even though the page has changed but the value of uh, the variable wife is still amazing so i can create certain javascript custom javascript variables and pick this value and pass this value to the various analytics calls across the session such that the same value value gets associated with all the calls and then i can attribute that particular value to the various user actions right now uh, coming to the use case for google analytics 4 so let me open google analytics 4 quickly so we are in google analytics 4 and uh, google analytics 4 as you know directly gets integrated with bigquery and it's a free integration to a limited extent uh, it was not possible with universal analytics right so that's a new advantage that you have so when this data gets integrated with bigquery then a you can create your uh, own data repository and uh, maybe if you want to take a dump or something then uh, you can own that data uh, b you can do some kind of advanced uh, analysis on that so if you want to run some data science applications on uh, bigquery data or uh, just integrate that data with other uh, data sources that you have so that is also possible okay so that's a good advantage uh, but if you observe then uh, in bigquery right now if you particularly focus upon the marketing data right the, the data for the various sources and mediums so uh, that data is so far not getting populated uh, at a session level right so you get the first touch of the data uh, the first touch of uh, the user so the marketing channel the source medium combination that acquired the user to your digital asset for the first time and then uh, you have event level source and medium data and event level source and medium data is not always populating uh, the source and medium information that you might need particularly if you want to do uh, a session level analysis all right so uh, to make things easier what you can do is that you can create a custom dimension and uh, then you can introduce a new variable and then you can pass the source and medium information at a session level to that particular uh, uh, variable and then you would be able to use that variable in your bigquery for uh, various applications that you want to do on your data right so that is the use case that uh, we will cover in this video now at the time of creation of this video this feature is not available but maybe down the line in future if this feature gets uh, available then this case study becomes redundant but having said that you can still go through the application how we use local storage and maybe you can take some inspiration and uh, you can use this uh, uh, case study for other applications all right so let's just uh, start in google tag manager now so for this case we are going to consider only one utm variable and the one that i'm going to consider over here is a utm source right so uh, let's first create a variable that uh, picks the value of utm source and that is very easy to do so we just need to create a url kind of variable and in here the component type is going to be query and the name of the query is uh, very simple it's utm source so what uh, query essentially is going to do is uh, every time there is a utm source query parameter in the url so uh, it's going to save that right so Let's just show you what I mean over here. So if I debug this, right, and now I'm going to debug utm underscore source equals test. Okay, so let's open like this one. And if I go to utm underscore source, URL so as you can see that test is coming over here this is the one that we just created okay now I will create a custom uh, HTML tag right that gets this value of uh, UTM source right from the variable that we just created and stores it in the local storage right so this is going to be a script tag right and what we are going to do we are going to do window 
dot local storage dot set item and the key that I'm going to choose is uh, utm hyphen source right so I just need to provide the name of the variable like in the example this is where uh, the wife value had come and the value that needs to be passed over here is this one that we just created okay now where do I want to fire this particular uh, UDM source I would want to fire this only in those cases where uh, referrer was uh, external okay so I would fire this on a page load trigger right but on some page views where the referrer and there's a referrer here referrer does not contain data vinci dot services so that becomes an external referrer for me okay so external referrer page views right so i do not want to fire this tag every time because my assumption is that udm source would be present in only when someone is coming from uh, external source and landing on the site with a udm parameter so that's why i'm just going to fire it on those pages right so local storage udm underscore source okay so let's just uh, test this as well then right so we are here I'll open the applications and here UTM source this key that we created is uh, containing the value test so that let's just uh, navigate and uh, go to some other page and it should still be here so it is persisting right so this is now persisting and we can now pick this value and uh, pass this in uh, Google Analytics 4 but before that we need to create another variable and the objective of this variable is to retrieve the value of the local storage and then we can use that new variable in our uh, Google Analytics 4 or for any marketing or analytics pixel for that matter okay so this is going to be a custom JS variable right coming back to basics function and what is it going to return it is going to return simply window dot local storage dot get item and what are we retrieving here utm underscore utm hyphen source right so utm source custom js okay now let's go to our google analytics config tag and this is uh, the Google Analytics page 4 tag, uh, Google Analytics 4 page view tag. And here uh, we can do fields to set, right? And I'm going to set this as utm underscore source. And then I'm going to get the value of uh, this one that we just created, right? And save this. Okay, so let's again preview right and now what I'm going to do I am going to rather use uh, this debugger okay so just uh, refresh this or yeah so that we can see the Google Analytics 4 values right so this came and we should have event data test which is same as what uh, we passed okay let's move to some other page new call and here also you can see that even data test is coming so the same value is uh, getting persisted across uh, the different uh, uh, pages right and let's look at the user engagement as well so it's getting persisted across the events as well 
now uh, we can use this and uh, pass this as a custom dimension in uh, google analytics and then we would be able to see this in bigquery as well as uh, the various other custom reports that we want to create maybe in data studio as well and then we would have a session level source uh, data and similarly we can do it for medium and campaign or ad group and various other marketing parameters right so yeah so this is a good case for the application of custom javascript variable so hope this video was helpful for you. If you like the video, then I request you to please subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts below in the comments. Thank you very much. Wish you a nice time ahead.